Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to discuss some topic that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past, and more. I got this on various sources. Please check the description to know more, there are many interesting topics there, and not all of them can be covered here. I know that my video quality is far from good, but I hope the content is understandable. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by discussing this. But that's the whole point. This is proof that a small occult elite of the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a Telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. The energy these natural minerals have, is incredible. This is why they want us to be scared from them, so we don't ask questions, or demand to use them. It's dangerous for us, but it's safe for them to use. The energy generated by the fission of a single uranium pellet is equivalent to one ton of coal, or 120 gallons of crude oil, or 17,000 cubic feet of natural gas. What's crazy is that thorium can produce so much more energy than uranium. And these are natural mineral that occur everywhere. We are basically taping into free energy, or etheric energy. Imagine how advanced we can be, with just these minerals that God gave us. The possibilities are endless. Quebecly Teep, the Hill of the Naval, is an ancient site found in 1994 by Professor Klaus Schmidt in Turkey. It is an area filled with ancient megalithic architecture, the oldest stone temple in the world. The site has been dated to between 9500 BC to 8000 BC. As of 2021, only 5% of the site has been excavated. All T-shaped pillars have been found, some as much as 17 feet tall, with intricate and stylized representation of human beings and animals on them, some of them weighing up to 20 tons. Andrew Collins and Graham Hancock have written a book on Gebekli Teep. This is a mystery still being unraveled. How could hunter-gatherers have built such a huge complex of pillars 10,000 years ago? What do you think? Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learn something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Dr. Bruce Lipton is a biologist, was a Stanford researcher, who propounded a theory that cells of our body are influenced by our thoughts. His book, Biology of Belief, is almost autobiographical and written in a very entertaining humorous style. But he goes into deep detail about cell functioning with copious illustrations. He discovered, as usual, not accepted by the mainstream, that the cell membrane is the true brain of the cell, and responds to nervous stimuli. Thoughts. So, he calls them membranes. He firmly concluded, that the DNA in the nucleus of a cell, do not control cell functioning, because cell survival depends on the ability to dynamically adjust to an ever-changing environment. He also questioned Darwin's evolution theory vehemently. He concluded that we are not victims of our genes, but masters of our fates, as the health of our cells are in our thoughts. Anyway, Avicenna, one said, illusion is half sickness, calmness is half the cure, and patience is the first step of healing. What do you think? This story may be a hoax, but let's just talk about it. The Ancient Giants, 5 meter tall human skeleton. The gigantic hominid specimen that measures an incredible 5.3 meter tall, 
or 17 foot and 4 inches, was discovered near the ancient ruins of the only megalithic civilization ever discovered in Australia, which makes the discovery twice as puzzling, admits Professor Hans Zimmer of the University of Adelaide. The discovery of the Uluru archaeological site last year already took us by surprise, but this new find is just jaw-dropping, he admits, visibly dumbfounded. Theoretically, a 5-meter-tall hominid cannot exist. How did this occur? How is this possible? Although this discovery is fascinating, we are left with more questions than answers, he concedes. The discovery of a 5-meter-tall human skeleton near Ayers Rock is the largest skeleton ever found and leaves scientists with more questions than answers, concedes Hans Zimmer, professor of archaeology at the University of Adelaide. Some experts have hypothesized that the specimen might have suffered from an extreme case of gigantism, a condition caused by the overproduction of growth hormones, a theory Professor Hans Zimmer dismisses as pure speculation. Only further research can help us uncover the truth behind this anomaly of nature. Until we have found more skeletal remains, we specimen, he firmly believes. The Uluru Archaeological Site, unearthed in 2014 by a team of researchers from the Australian National University, led to the discovery of a previously unknown megalithic civilization that could help solve the mystery of the estranged discovery. We have unearthed last February a megalithic block that is estimated to weigh an approximate 80 tons. The basalt qualities of the monolith are found only 200 kilometers away. How did they move this huge block hundreds of kilometers into the desert, what technologies did this civilization use? We cannot properly answer these questions at the present moment, admits John Thomas Buckler, head archaeologist during the 2015 excavation. Some specialists believe a major catastrophe is the cause of the destruction of the Uluru civilization, turning the whole region from a rich fertile land into a sterile desert at the time. The analysis of geological deposits confirms a large impact in the region between 3,500 and 2,500 years ago, admits the leading expert. The catastrophic destruction revealed by traces of vitrification and high levels of radiation at the ruins of the Uluru archaeological site clearly lead us to believe both events are intimately linked together, he concludes. The system that has been created around our lives is a system that makes you sick. We are very far from nature. We have forgotten where our food comes from. We don't even know about or know how the water comes to our houses. Many people do not even know the springs. Many children have never slept under the stars. So it is a very delicate moment in which we have forgotten where we are living, what is our home and what do we have here. And we have turned everything into a fictional thing. This is the problem of technology also, because a big illusion comes into play. Right now what is real and what is not real are very confused. You are looking at a screen, you have a million friends, when you turn off the screen, you are alone. And so, there is an illusion within the technological dream that we are living. One more illusion. Really, the only thing to do, is to return back to the land. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.